have already let me open the just on the topic one that i am not missing something Data quality use case. First of all, this I've already shared. If you have any question, let me know, or even I can tell you. Project that benefited from the cleanse. So I'll uh, first go to the. I'll start with the mapping of this cleanse and standardization. Then I'll tell you like uh, how it. You will get to understand from the demo how it is getting benefited. Data quality and typical DID cleanse. So I just run all these things. I create all these things. Uh, via mapping okay, solution architecture okay, so. so let's start with the mapping now okay, so. okay, now we'll create i will start with the mapping okay and then i will create a mapping i have created a mapping as a rule but i will also create a map sorry maplet as a rule i have created uh, i will create a maplet as a maplet which you can validate it as a maplet so let me create a maplet first as a maplet so that that makes sense. MPL the same thing. Okay. Uh, let us take the LA customer only. Okay. Maplet LA customer. Same thing, I'll take a DDR input. And this is my LA customer. There's a full name, company is there, address is there. This is the data. Okay, address are there, address three, city, state, zip. These are all there. Okay. So suppose uh, we can create a um, full name. So suppose one of the thing is like I want to create a full name uh, with all caps, right, in a maplet. And also, I want these are the preference delivery. Okay, two days and one day. I will show you like how things work. So, maplet is nothing. So, I will show you like how it uh, gets. Uh, so, I just create an import full name. Okay, I'll make it hundred for example. Here I can give an expression. So all the expression as I was telling is here. Okay. So these are all the expressions here. I will go each of those expressions. Most of the expressions I will go and most of them I will show in the demo. Few of those I will just tell me two or three I will tell just theoretically because these are very less used and just let's not uh, go to each and go for everything right at one go. So suppose I will use an expression or case converter for example. Okay. I will take the full name here. This is one of the transformation. Here I will go with the strategies. So there is a port. Uh, you can select the output or you can go to the strategy. Select a new. Okay, case converter. Suppose I want to do upper casing, upper case, full name. Okay, what is my input? This is my input, and uh, suppose this is my output. I, I will not name it suppose O underscore, for example. You can or you should don't want you 
because most of the time you, you, you want to meet it as positive. Okay. Now conversion type is upper case. So there are different uh, types okay, in, in, in um, case converter, lower case, toggle case, upper case, uh, title case, sentence case. Sentence case means uh, one will be in uh, caps, another will be small case. Okay. Toggle case will be first will be small, next will be capital and all this. Okay. Suppose I want everything with the upper case. You can tell that leave upper case words unchanged. Okay. But anyhow, if it's upper case, it will come as a upper case only. Okay. Delimiter is a space which is fine for me. You can add more strategies if you want or a reference table. Okay. But just so let me click on finish. So and I'll just create another output here. So here I will just validate as a maplet. No problem found. I'm saving it. So I'm showing you how I can use this maplet in a mapping now. Okay. And all I can. So here we can add many transformations. Okay, I'll, I'll show it in the mapping, but just to show how maplet can be used in a mapping. Okay. So suppose this is a maplet we have created, and let me name it in a different way. Mm -hmm. Upper case FN. I am not giving the name because maplets are generally reusable. We don't have to give the uh, source system that right? you can use it in any of the source file or source system. So this got updated. Now I will create a new mapping. Uh, I clicked on the project, right click new mapping. Okay. Mapping generally starts with M underscore small. Okay. This is the best practice means as per the naming conventions. Okay. Mapping standardize. Now, this is my mapping. In a mapping, so what is the difference between maplet and mapping? This is a very important another question which comes up. Okay. So, difference between mapping and maplet. Okay, this is a very important question. Uh, it comes up. So, maplets are reusable components. Okay. I ignore my typos. I'm just writing quickly. Okay. Mappings are non-reusable components. Okay. This is the first. Second is mapping has um, Need to have, not has, need to have, need to be connected with source and target system. Okay. What does that mean? That mapping needs to be connected with the proper source and proper target table or file, whatever you tell it. Okay. But maplet, as you have seen, has input and output transformations okay that means it's not connected with the uh, source or the target system okay maplet it's just an input and output okay these are the main two things and there are many more to tell that um, obviously uh, when you use a maplet as a rule right mapping you cannot use it as a rule maplet you can use it as a rule but obviously you have to use a passive transformations but ma mapping you there is you cannot use it as a the, the, the third point okay these are the three points mainly you can tell but there are more points you can obviously go as much as you can so that's fine okay so this is very important question what is the difference between mapping and maplet 
Okay, let's come up to this. So as you know, like maplet, this is an input and output. In the input, you can see there is not, it's not joined with any source tables or target, right? There's nothing. It's just an input and output transformation. But mapping, we cannot have this thing, input and output. Okay. So it should have a proper data. So it needs to be connected to the proper. So let us take you in the So, I guess I went quickly this, let me delete it again. So what I did, you can drag it, okay, here. So there's a read, write and lookup option. So we are going with the read. So it will read the data. Okay, one of the things you remember, right? Last time I was telling you there's a shortcut for CDO and I'll show you during mapping. Okay, SQL queries. Uh, but Obviously, we cannot write it as a flat file. When I will uh, do it in the Oracle, I will show you. From here, their query option will come up. Okay, right now it will come, not come because it's a file, flat file. But when I'll, uh, next session, I will show you from Oracle. I will import an Oracle table with the data and I will show you that. One. But from oh, here, yeah. we can take an query and run the SQL. So that will act as a CDO. You can run multiple join statement for multiple table this will change automatically the port will automatically change as per the select statement whatever select columns you are taking that only will come up here okay. so read in the property there's a general there's a data objects so this is my data object obviously which is coming from the uh, physical data object okay object type you can see flat file data object port these are my ports so okay Format. Uh, these are not already we have defined. You don't have to look again. We, while importing, I've already shown in the first class what are the things. Same things are there. Now runtime. Runtime same in the advanced. I've already shown you. These are all there. Okay. Connections. There is no connection. Obviously, it's a file. Um, so you don't. You can't change anything. You can just already this has been defined. No changes are required. Runtime linking, nothing is required. Tracing level, this is nothing but this will come up. Okay. Uh, the session log means any kind of log. You can see this can be normal, verbose, verbose init. So verbose init is the uh, more advanced logging system. The one of the disadvantages, it will take too much space. So always run a IDQ mapping with a normal. Okay, don't make it barbos or barbos in it. When it is required, when you are facing an issue, right, and you are not able to stress the log by normal. By barbos, it will show data by data. So it will be a huge file, log file, GBs of log file, it gets created sometimes as per the records, right? Each month, if it's a huge record, it will create a huge file and record by record, it will show you how the data is getting processed. So it's a huge thing. Always go with the normal whenever it's required. Don't go. Where goes? Unless until you are stuck somewhere. Okay. So, okay. So this was the read. Now, suppose I want to use the maplet. Okay. The maplet I've created. So I will just drag the maplet here. Maplet uppercase of first name. Sorry, full name. I will just connect the full name here. Okay. Now I will create one expression. Okay. I will take this to this here. Full name here. And the remaining columns. So, suppose still status I am taking, I am not taking everything. This to this. So, you can click on, uh, you can select this, then go down, click on shift, just drag it till here, down. So, now you can see all the columns came up, right? Now, if I run a data viewer, let me see whether the uppercase maplet is working or not.
now you can see here previously the full name was in uh, init cap now you can see everything is in capital so even you can we can do something like this right for example i'll show you another good example suppose you can write like this input you see upper case and you can write it output underscore you see okay upper case now i am not naming any column here okay arrange all iconic i am saving this okay here now let me delete this one i'll tell you what is the advantage of what i did just a moment oh okay my input was this sorry i have to change the input and output also okay input suppose you see here and output i have to change output underscore you see so my actually it will look like this this is input upper case is input output upper case output upper case okay no column is there now i will just take this here suppose i i am doing full name full name is connected which is good i can take another again okay now suppose i want to do upper case on the customer tier also uh, for example customer tier i have to remove now you see i am using the same applet twice right run get a So I just shown you one of the great use case of how we can use maplet, right? We are using the maplet. Even you can have multiple columns in the input and output to be used. Okay, so, so I used two twice because I had using one column, but obviously you can have multiple inputs, multiple outputs accordingly, and you can connect it in a single maplet, not to create so many maplet. Okay, that is another case. so here you can see all this full name and this both got in the capital letter right so we can we are able to use any question in map that we can keep all the columns right like if you want if i want customer tire full name company all yeah yeah that's what i was telling yeah yeah that's what i was telling suppose i want another one suppose input to okay. underscore you see I I will create another uh, output. Let's talk about. Yes. Uh, so I have to create another strategy. Okay. Suppose suppose the strategy is input to U C. Now here my input will be this input to. Let it be as it is. Upper case space leave. Okay, another output. Just a moment. I will give you this as also input. I have to let me rename it. Output to underscore C. And I can save it. Now suppose at this line one. And the output two is my address line two output. Suppose just a moment. Address line one I have taken. Just a moment. Okay. Another thing which you can do. Uh, suppose I I I lost right. How, which one I connected with input two right? Because there are so many. Uh, if you look for 
large mapping what happens sometimes we get lost there are so many transformation how they are connected with each other so the easiest way is that just click on the address suppose now i want to see address line whether i have connected here or not i, I forgot right so i just right click on it there is a select link path okay and forward backwards backward is nothing only forward is there because backward we have not connected anything so click on forward now you can see it is connected with the input and address line also right so it gives you a very good glimpse so it is very helpful so i am deleting this because it's already connected and now put to i'll connect with this okay now i will run the data viewer Okay. Now you see at this line one also is already is working. So to answer your question, obviously we can have multiples. Even if you see, I have not connected input or output. Still uh, the data viewer is working, right? But uh, but good practice is that utilize the input and output. Okay, always. Uh, let's not keep it blank. But uh, yeah, to answer your question, you can obviously have a maplet. Suppose we are doing for uh, this map is for only upper case. We can have multiple inputs and output, and we can then map it accordingly. Use that. So the advantage of maplet, as you can see, I am not creating always a separate uh, expressions or case converter every time, right? I am just dragging it and mapping it. That's it. So you can use, right? That is one of the biggest advantage. Okay. Now let's move to the next part, the main part, standardizer. Let me save it. One of the best practices always regularly save your mappings. Okay, what happens? Uh, we are working from home, right? Obviously, one of the issue comes like internet fluctuates. So you might lose the internet. All the hard work which you were doing might go away. So always remember to regularly save it. Click on somewhere and Control S. Very simple. Or you can go to file and save whatever is fine for you. I, I click Control S. Okay. So this is the expression now. What I will do? Okay. Now see one of the use case. What I will do is customer tire. Okay. In customer tire, you can see it's not standardized properly. You can see numerics are there. Okay. Three is there. Two is there. Okay, so I have to change it in problem. Null I cannot do anything because null I don't know what it is. So null it. The null will be null because only business can tell me right whether debit auction is what customer tire. So I I don't have the knowledge, but at least from the business suppose I got that understanding that two is suppose uh, silver, three is bronze, and one is gold for example. One is there. okay. Suppose one is gold, two is silver, three is bronze. Okay, so how we can standardize? So one of the requirement came just standardize the customer tire. It's, it's it's not correct. So I'll use a standardizer. Add transformation standardizer. Okay, so this is a standardizer. I'll use a input at customer tire. And let's see the properties, right? What are the properties for this port? Already have connected, so that's why you can see customer tire strategies. If I click on the strategies, I will this first tire. Okay, input customer tire. Output you can change the name if you want. STD underscore customer tire. So I have already standardized it. I can make it 10. Okay, uh, this is automatically come nothing. So properties you can remove the trailing and leading spaces. Okay, so I can click on this. So if there is any trailing or leading spaces, I hope you know this thing. Trailing means at the end if there are any spaces. Leading means at the front if there are any spaces. If there are multiple spaces, yeah. Yes. Okay. And if there are multiple spaces, then obviously what does it mean? Like for example. Um, you have suppose John, then two spaces, and then Smith are there. Um, mm, 
so if multiple space means if suppose john two spaces and smith is there so that's a multiple space it will convert into single space in between okay, you can select also this my delimiter is space so let it be anyhow it's a single word it doesn't matter for the time being i'll click on next so these are the strategies within a standardizer okay remove reference table matches so i'll show the reference table with to you like how it works uh, remove custom string so suppose uh, when it is used like uh, uh, you have for example special characters and you want to remove those so or you have comma hash hash uh, at the date in name column obviously you don't need those right so you can again remove those custom strings okay uh replace reference table with valid values i'll show you this this is if you understand this these are similar okay uh, with valid values replace this with uh, custom string and replace custom string it is nothing but if in any file when we write control h right we want to replace suppose comma by a space for example so you can do that right suppose remove right this is simple i'll not show you in the demo it's very simple remove custom string you can just click on this give the value i want to remove comma right or another new i want to remove full stop another i want to remove at the date uh, i want to remove dollar sign in 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 the customer tier column so you can do this scope if it's found anywhere or if it's found at the start or at the end you can select this right and then finish it it will automatically come up okay so and replace these are very simple things so suppose i want to replace comma again a new at the date again a new and suppose uh, semicolon another hyphen with a space replace it with a space so wherever it gets these strings all will be replaced with a space right so it's nothing for example you have name column john comma smith or john at the red smith or john semicolon smith so the requirement is replace it with a space right i don't want john smith in single word right so that's where replace comes and this is very simple again anywhere start or end okay so let me know if you have any question these are very basic so i don't think any one of you will get any issue main thing is this one okay i will show you this thing so before that let me create a reference table first how to create a reference table again okay. i'll can cancel it let me create a reference table so that i can okay. right click new okay right click new there's a reference table okay so i want to create a empty reference table okay flat file is very simple so means i want to create a uh, empty same thing can be showcased in a flat file also but let me create an empty this is more tough right just to uh, just take it from a flat file is very simple so reference table as empty for example click on next i can name it as um, suppose cast tire right for cast tire i am creating this reference table Style one. Or style STD. Next. Okay. So first column. Okay. Suppose column one. I am writing it as a column one. Uh, this is my description. This is my default value, and this, which is fine. I am creating another column. I'll tell you. Just give me one moment. I'll tell you what I am doing. And this is another column okay so what i did i have created three columns okay and within this three column i have to select one valid column i'll tell you why why exactly i have to we have to select one valid column okay so for the time being just understand one thing during reference table creation you can create it from the file also okay that is also very simple suppose i could have created very simple in a file Suppose column one, column one, comma, column two, two. same thing. Okay, from the file. 
Okay. And here you can give the value also. Okay. I'll tell you, I'll not create it now because this will, will get confused. So what I did, one of the column is to be a valid value. Okay, so I clicked on valid. Nothing else is required. Description, so these are optional. Default value not to be audit note is not required. Okay, I'll click on finish. So right now our reference table got created with only the column names. No data is there currently. Okay. I have to give the data now. Okay. Now it got created under STD. Now data, I clicked on the data. Now you see three my columns are created where I'm telling that column one is my valid. Okay. I click on new. Okay. Now see what I want here. What is my requirement? My requirement here is I want to uh, uh, standardize one. So there was numeric and string. Everything should be numeric. That is my first requirement, right? Second requirement, how can I change this numeric into string? So one actually denotes, for example, um, gold uh, gold two silver and three bronze for example so one of the way we choose so i i could have used very simple a custom uh, replace it with a custom string also so that is very simple i didn't wanted to do that because you can just write if it's one then gold create another strategy for replace custom string two with this but we cannot use like that manually because if there are so many new different numerics comes how we will do that so best way is to create a reference file or reference table in the database and you can input it okay so i am creating it from the this. so what i am doing one for gold two for silver and three for gold, right so valid value what is the valid value gold okay first column is one and this for example is uh, second column is for example is uh, it's also fine, small gold. Okay. Next is silver, or you can tell it like this one in a string. If it all goes up. This is two. This is. I will add another entry. No branch. Let me make it all capital. Just a moment. This is three. This is okay. So what I did now, I have inserted a data. Okay, you can make it in a file also. Yeah, this can be in a table format also. Anything you can do, but um, just to show you the from the empty, this will make you more understand, right? So in the input column, if my value for customer tire comes as one, one or this one, if it comes to or in this two string, if it comes three numeric as a numeric or as a string, then convert it into gold, silver, or bronze. Means one for this, two for silver, three for bronze. And I have made column one as a valid. That's why it will always consider this as a valid column. So they are considering this as the input. If it matches in the input, then con convert means uh, replace it with a valid value. Okay. Now we'll save it. Simple, right? Now I'll go here. Now. So we are replacing gold silver values with one or one with the gold. No. So what is a valid column? Go. Yeah. Gold, silver, bronze. So it is replaced with valid values. So what it will replace with? One. Gold will replace with one. No, no. no. Replace with valid value. This is a valid value, right? Yes. Yes. So it will replace with valid valid value means replace with this column only values of this column because I made column one as a valid right. Yes, yes, yes. Right. So the requirement is everything should be in string right, not numerics. Okay, okay. So everything should be in string. Okay. Correct. This one should not be three. It should be bronze. This should be silver. 
because no one if it goes to the target database any business will not understand right understand until he is a data owner so it should be in a proper name right so that uh, that's what we call the standardizing this column that's why right we are coming to format okay so so i have connected this customer tag that's why i am doing on the customer tag i'll go to the properties i'll create a strategy Tire. My input is customer tire. I can make change it into std underscore just to be thing. I'll just change it. Okay. Remove this. I already told this. I'm not. Let me know if you have any question. So you remember this. I replace this with valid values. Okay, so right now I'll click with next. I'll browse. I've created this one reference list now. I'll click OK. Is it case sensitive? Okay, so I am not taking case sensitive. That means uh, if it's uh, column three was small one, right? So if it's a capital one, also it will take as a match, right? So I'm not taking case sensitive. If it finds anywhere, I am fine with that because it's just one, two, three. I'm fine. I'm not changing. I'll click on finish now. Next means it will create another new strategy. So I'm not creating another new. I'll click on finish now. So your strategy is now created. Okay. Now I will run a data viewer. Let's see it is working or not. Okay. Yeah, so this IDQ comes with so many different licenses. I need to see. I just bought a new license with from the company. From the company, we got this. So. What a license! I have to talk with that company. Okay, so this is one thing I'll show you later on. But once you run this, you will see everything has been changed in the data viewer uh, from one uh, to things. Okay, so also for example, another strategy if I suppose create. Okay, I'm uh, if we load into any other flag file, can we see that? No, no, no. The, let me do that. Just to do the idea. Just let me see. Yes. Okay. Uh, let me map this with this is a customer tire. Let me save it. Let me see it's valid. Let me run the mapping now. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, the license thing. Okay. Let me talk with that. Okay. Yeah, same thing. But uh, okay. But uh, once you do the same thing, like. Uh, Uh, but you got the gist, right? What, when, how we can do? We can just create a thing. Same thing. I can create another. Can create all those one, two, three numeric values to be uh, like one valid two, value. Yeah. Same thing, right? Same thing. Suppose street are there, as I was discussing. I am giving another use case. Suppose I was I was giving right that if I want to do something like this. STR and I want to convert it into ST always. We can create a reference table, same thing, okay, rather than replacing the custom strings and all those. Okay. So, suppose I want to 
I am showing you the, all the strategies. So that you can store the data. Customer tire. This is suppose std underscore. And this is for example. This is next. Suppose I want to uh, now do the very simple thing. Replace. Replace the custom string. So here I can just another way of doing that as I was telling that that is a long way of doing replace one with gold anywhere then you click on next right you have to again create another strategy so th this doesn't make sense right because always you have to go like this this doesn't make sense right because this is so much active that is the advantage of using a reference table rather than doing this again i will run this replace it with the launch and click on finish. Okay. So if I now, for example, if I run this thing, it will give you the same thing. Let me delete this thing. The same thing of the transformation I'll look with the company that what license you have to create. But um, what are what are the strategies? The strategies are these are the different strategies which we can work on. One of the remove uh, already this is the same same thing. The remove means uh, same thing like uh, column one, two, three are there, right? And if it finds any matches with that, suppose one was there, you want to remove one or O any two or two T W same thing. Right. If you want to remove that, you can just whatever matches is fine, it will just remove it. This one is just remove the custom string, nothing else. This one I've already shown with the valid values. This is also same. Wherever it finds a match, you can add a custom string. Like right? uh, suppose uh, you are giving uh, uh, in the output rate right, that st s uh, suppose st dot in the reference table you are giving st in one column. ST, ST dot, STR, all the different thing, and you want to replace it with ST, right? So that's where you use the custom string. In one go, one shot, you can just standardize everything. Okay. So this is one of the thing, the standardized standardizer. Let me go for another stuff. Okay. So let me first go through each one, each of uh, the transformation. So aggregator, okay. So this will all help you in your interviews that aggregator and all those, what are the different things and all those. So aggregator is very simple. I'll just, uh, maybe suppose, I'll just tell you the configuration. This is a very simple, nothing fancy about it. So suppose one of the requirement is, uh, not reason, I'm not take reason. Uh, Suppose uh, one of the things state, for example, I want to see uh, group by on state. Okay, so go to aggregator, go to group by, okay. click on choose. So customer region. I have mapped this as a state. Okay, this one I mapped. So as you know, like forward, this will come up. So I have mapped it as a state. So customer state, for example. Okay. In the port, as you know, right, we can make different aggregated values. Okay. This is very important. Suppose I want the want the count. So you can just create one uh, output column. Uncheck this thing. Go to the expression. count on state okay or you can just go to the port customer state validate 
So what it will do, it will, uh, it's a very simple, right? you all know about the SQLs, right? you can just, what we write, select counter from the table name, uh, select counter comma customer state from table name group by customer state. The same thing will work here. I just wanted to show how it works. It will run. So you are getting this thing, right? Yes. So same thing, that aggregator, this is, uh, like I, I use count, right? You can take the average summation, sum of those, suppose I want by state the sum of the sales. Just make it sum of that cell, right? Very simple. So this is one of the aggregator. I'm deleting it. I'm just showing each and every transformation, right? Not required to connect each and every. So I'll let it keep it aside. Okay, association I'll go, this is just later on in the matching. Uh, case converter, I have already told you, classifier is not used that much, but it, it's uh, one of the, I mean, it's used for the language classifier. Okay, so it, it, it is not that much used. Comparison I will go during the match uh, thing. Comparison, uh, consideration, I will tell you about this. Data masking, this is very advanced level, not used much. Data masking, there's a different tool altogether, not a data quality, but I will tell you what is the, if anyone asks you what is data masking, right, when it is used. So I'll just show you, it's not used that much. For example, what happens, uh, theoretical, let me tell you first. Uh, generally what happens, for example, uh, you are in a project for visa credit card right now your customer is visa for example company now what happens like they will not give you the access to production table why or de even dev table they don't give the access right even if they give they do this data masking what is the concept of data masking for example in a visa credit card right it has the customer name it has very very uh, confidential information right the customer name their addresses uh, their pin code is also there um, atm card pin code atm numbers are there so if it get leaked right so th this will be a huge embarrassment for the company as well as well as a huge lawsuit will be there for the company right so and obviously they will not show those data to a vendor so, right so that's where the concept of data masking came, where you can mask the data. Suppose you want to mask the data by some random algorithm, the credit card number you want to mask it, right? The company want to mask it, or they want to mask the uh, PIN code. So it will be something XXXX or some random number, they will change it to random number. The algorithm is changes random. So random pin code might be there or phone numbers are there, random numbers will be there, which will be totally invalid. Okay. So that's where the data masking comes into place. Okay. So these are not much used, but uh, again, there are separate tools also together, but just for information, I'm telling you that data maskings are, are used for those special case scenarios. Okay. Data processor, data processor is again, uh, I'm going to the main main transformations, okay. Data processor, these are again, uh, if you want to, uh, you, if you are getting data uh, in, uh, uh, for example, uh, in XML format, JSON format, you can change the format to a different one. So that time the data processor works, okay. So again, these are mainly, done in a separate tools before it comes to IDQ. The uh, means we generally deals with the Oracle database, Snowflake database, the files, uh, any kind of uh, unstructured data, right? Not until answer is semi-structured JSON and XML, then we use generally these uh, processors. Okay. Decision transformation.
decision transformation has its own format okay for example any kind of if else logic if it, it works okay in a decision transformation for example uh, suppose i um, have uh, this is used decision transformation is used more often for example um, let me uh, tell you a use case like uh, suppose i have a data okay uh, for let me write it down so suppose i have a data where uh, for a student okay student and store is there now in decision is an if else logic okay if my if uh, score is greater than 90 okay then obviously we can write okay if the score is greater than 90 then student result is equals to excellent okay else if okay here you remember right in expression generally we write if logic i have already shown you in the last if you want i can show it it again we have written that if is null suppose city then comma invalid otherwise valid but in decision what is the difference between expression and decision in decision transformation what it is it tells you like if suppose the score is greater than 9 so score is greater than 90 so student result should be excellent if else if right score is greater than or suppose less than 90 right then so it's a combination of if then and else if logic this is how a decision is been written okay then student result is equals to average for example okay else student result is equals to poor okay likewise we can write in a decision there will be if then else if logic and else logic i i assume like uh, in little bit of programming you have already written this kind of else if logics right and you know about it right these things you can write in a decision one so accordingly it will get updated so it, one of the question it comes what is the difference between so when when we use a decision transformations we use a decision transformation in this scenarios right where there are multiple if else logic sort there then we use a decision transformation for example score is there sales are there right sales for a region if it's greater than suppose 1 lakh rupees right then uh, then it's a good uh, sell or average sell or poor sell accordingly all this kind of thing can be done and then it will be end so likewise you can write uh, in the decision any kind of suppose i don't know for example what is decision okay i never i don't know i have told you this or not go to help this is a very good help content a uh, pop up will come up this is very useful okay suppose i don't know what is decision then i will click decision it will take some time because it is indexing so here you will get all those information wherever you are started in the index okay so this is the same with the decision so suppose how it works suppose full name is there and just add a strategies you can add okay and here you can in the expression write if else else then if else all this logic as per the requirement then when you run it you will get that information okay so this is about the decision
exception okay exception again i will tell you like expression of okay, expression to you. exception you are asking something anyone no okay exception transformation is what for example we did a data profiling already right Uh, we already did data profiling, so let me so don't worry out of this fifty are being used, but I will tell every transformation so at least. So what happens is like during the uh, uh, profiling. Let me open a profile. Profile. Mm -hmm. Le. Again, these exceptions are currently being migrated to. Uh, this customer uh, sorry informatic MDM. If you heard of I'm not sure if you heard of customer 360. All the data stewardship activities are mainly migrated there, but uh, they will obsolete few of those uh, transformation in near future also. So, but I will tell you in case there anyone asks the questions right. So what exactly the exception transformation is simple. It's nothing like uh, very complex. So suppose I clicked on this row. Okay now. I remember someone asked this question, right? That whether it can be automated or not. So here you see one and zero. Zero is the invalid mainly, right? One is the two, where my zip code is not equals to five, right? So all this information should be going directly to a data steward, right? So these are nothing but exceptions. This record, okay? These records are nothing but exceptions. When we configure this Excel, is a very con uh, simple. Like we configure these columns in that exceptions, it will automatically go to the data steward as a task. They will just open it, and the data will be coming. All the data, and they can directly update it in the analyst tool itself. Okay, so exceptions are nothing but invalid records, and it's just used by data steward to correct the record from analyst. That's it. Nothing else. Expression I've told you like expression is simple. Uh, let me know if you need anything. I'm going okay. If you have any question or you are telling now, I want to know. Let me know. Okay. Just I, I'm thinking like I went through the expression filter. I guess I've told you very simple these things are. Suppose uh, where is gun? This is very simple. Click on the properties. The simple filter. Just remove this thing. So I want to filter. Go to port country. A simple thing. So it will only give the US country. You remember there's u dot s dot a dot u s u dot s dot. All these things will not come up. It will just filter it. Okay. Another in. Okay. Let me show you router. Okay. First, there is another important question which comes. Router. Yeah. Now this is router. Okay. Now let me show you how router works. Suppose I have countries with multiple countries. Okay. So I just take it as an input. So router, you know, right? Router is nothing but the output will have a branch of different output as per the conditions you set up in router. What does that mean? I'm just showing in the demo. So this is a router group. Okay. So general and port is same. Nothing fancy. And that's why I just omitted this. Go to group. Create a new group. Okay. Uh, suppose uh, group is US. Okay. Here I can give the filter condition. Edit filter condition. What is my condition? If country is equal to Yes. Okay. Validate. Valid. Okay. 
I'll create another group. U dot s dot sorry. U dot s dot k dot. So suppose a group U S A. And here I will another editor of this that country equals to u dot s dot a dot s. Validate, valid. I will just create a last one. Can we use uh, something like the stars with U as uh, US percent like that here? Yeah, yeah, like, comment, and all those are there here. Yeah. So that's what I was telling that you can go, you can search like this, for example, like, comment. Is there or not? Let me see. Ampersand is there. You can use ampersand that if it starts with this, like, comment should be this to it. It should be like comment should be there. Yeah, SQL like is there. Subject strings. Yeah, SQL like is there, which you are telling the subject as a string, pattern as a string, and escape character. Little matches in this. Yeah, this one you can use SQL like. This one you can use. So you can use so many uh, function different, like for example, uh, this all re, re, uh, different function. INSTR is also there. Suppose this can also act as the like. Suppose you want to start with it or uh, suppose uh, you want to see only the first two characters, right? INSTR is there, substring and INSTR is there. Okay. Minimum append is there. Just let me show you, telling that also. Okay, so I have created three groups and this is a default group. Okay. Default group means if these two, this, so these three, whatever is there, if it doesn't come within this, then it will go to your default one group. Okay. Suppose India data is coming, all will go to the default group. Now, if I run this, Now you can see, right? For US only, the US came. Okay. Default group is null. Okay. Okay. USA is there in the default group because we have not defined USA. Okay. So that's why USA went to the default group. U dot S dot went to this group, and U dot S dot came to. So this is a router. Okay. So one of the question which is very comes like what is the difference between filter and router? Okay. So this is another interview question. If you want, you can note it down. Many people ask this like what is the difference between filter and router? So filter is nothing but you are um, setting on single conditions, right? And you are just filtering out the record. But router is you are you are not filtering out the record as per the uh, condition you are routing the record to different source tar or targets right or different targets so that is one of the main difference between router and filter so likewise you can write all means um, and uh, this is one of the question you can uh, look around okay. so la last day i will obviously go through the main main interview questions don't worry whatever is coming currently and uh, as i am discussing I'm just telling it in the currently, so that I'm telling. 
No, not so. Use case of router is again what happens. Suppose one of the use case is a country specific is one of the use case. Okay, so why you remember right? I was telling like uh, each country have its own set of rules, standardization rules. You cannot write, for example, state. Okay, suppose you are getting India and USA data. So you cannot use, for example, India. The state types Nukkar is also a state type in India. You will see several addresses where this Nukkar is written. Okay, then there is uh, Rasta. One of the Hindi word is written. So you cannot add this rule for US countries. Even name, Robert, John. So they they have their own set of names, right? So you cannot add that rule into India country. So that's why you have to first use a router, route the data as per the country, and then you set up the rules as per the country specific rules, country specific standardization rules or cleansing cleansing rules. That is one of the main use case of router. Okay. Other many use cases are there. If you want, I can tell also. many use cases are there. Region wise also. Uh, one of the main, I don't know. Uh, this is a little bit advanced. Okay, if you understand, let me know. Little bit advanced. I don't know when to informatic MDM or not. Another very important use case is in informatic. So, what happens? Math nowadays matching and consideration happens. Though I will tell you in ITQ how it works. Don't worry about that. But uh, what happens nowadays is all the match merge happens in informatic MDM. IDQ only does standardization cleansing till that okay profiling. Then the data is loaded into staging table in Informatica MDM. From there, there is a called something load process where the match and merge happens. Okay, so the staging table. Suppose uh, today what we are de dealing with. Today we are dealing with customer data. In the customer data, we have name and address, right? City information. Now. In Informatica MDM staging table have name table, address table. Okay, then there's a relationship table between name and address. Okay, so obviously you have to first route the data properly, right? With this uh, specific, right? The customer. Then there's uh, because there are multiple targets. How you how you can take multiple targets? So you have to route those. So that is another very important scenario where to populate the data into Informatica table, sorry MDM tables. We also use router to separate customer data, address data to come up with customer address relationship. Right, we have to have come up with the relationship between the customer and the address. So that is the second one why we use router. Why router is so important. And apart from that, there are many why that. You are dealing with sales data, and obviously, customer wants to know by region what are my sales. Now you have to use router for with the region, then apply rules, then come up with different sales and statistics, right? So that's how these are the main use cases of router. Uh, Makes sense. It answered your question. Yes. Okay, I was red. I was still filter. Java, I don't have the knowledge on Java to be honest, but uh, I can tell you the description of Java. Like you can write Java code if you know Java. Uh, obviously, I know Python, I don't know Java much. So I haven't used Java, that's why right here. But obviously, this one, this transformation here, you can use Java. You can write Java uh, to call different APIs, okay, uh, from different. Uh, uh, sources and all those, so you can use Java transformation. So in IDQ, the simple thing: if someone tells you, "Have you how to call some API? Is there any way we can write Java code?" This is the transformation which can be used. Okay. Joiner. Joiner is nothing very simple. Like uh, suppose, let me do one thing. Let me create a new mapping. Otherwise, it is too much populated. <coughs> Suppose I want to my requirement is another in the mapping level. I want to join two table to 
files or tables okay i want to join uh, la and boston okay. i shown you union but i have shown the join as okay. so here i can do join So how it works, I'll tell you. Like I can take. Okay, first of all, let me tell you theoretical part. Another question which comes in a joiner. Uh, this is a little bit advanced, okay? But I'm telling. Write it down. I don't know. It, it, generally, in this uh, three and a half year, they doesn't ask this question. But uh, you can write it down. Like, have you faced any performance issue while using joiner, and how you have rectified it? Okay. so one of the thing what happens is there is a concept of master and detail in joiner master means this let me see this uh master means uh, whatever column values you are storing you are mapping with the master right this value will be stored in the cache memory within idq server okay so more column you are taking more value it will be it will be eating more your cache memory and this one takes the server memory okay the detail that's why always as a best practice take lesser columns if if is required that lesser columns are required right from one of the tables always take lesser column in the master more columns in the joiner a uh, detail okay makes sense any question okay so this is the main thing master and detail what it is master stores the data in a cache memory so you always take a lesser columns with lesser values in the master for it's just for performance related it's a administrative thing okay just for performance related this is the best practice so hmm. that also you be explaining later cache i didn't get the code to me types of cache we have right like static dynamic yeah that is i mean the reference table we have static and dynamic if you want i can show it I means we um, actually use it in the administrator i can show it in the administrator how can how we come up with the static and dynamic cache that also i can tell you so this is little, little bit on the admin part i can share with you like how someone yeah, from the admin set up static or dynamic or different cache as well okay. so i'm telling that also okay so, so in the master table like it will be static cache yeah. yeah right and detail is nothing related with cache the detail is mode of like uh, yeah, taking the server one and is more master more of a static cache that's true let me take this three columns on the master and this three columns in the detail okay so just a moment detail okay. so i'm just showing the joiner how it works okay so i have taken 3 3 columns so output is obviously 6 okay but obviously if is required i don't have to take if it's an inner join obviously i don't want don't have to take this this things okay so in joiner if i go to properties okay this is similar so there are types of joiner normal master outer detail outer and full outer right so this is simple i can let me say show it in a paint so suppose this is master and suppose this is detail okay so master outer will be this right detail outer will be the opposite okay so Means in the output in the master outer it will show this, okay. Inner joiner obviously is very self-explanatory. It will show this. Full outer it will show this. Some 
master and it is the detail and detail out there it will show this okay so this is how it works so generally in oracle we have the left outer right outer join and all this in idk we have the uh, master outer so as you know right master we have few columns and detail we have two columns accordingly we set up the master and uh, detail of joins Make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. And this this one is very simple. You just uh, take the joiner keys. Means uh, I hope anyone who knows SQL knows, right? That you just take the joiner keys of this and this. Uh, I don't know whether there will be any. Let Let us see whether there is anything that is going to happen. So yeah. So likewise, you can just join two tables, and you can use inner. Pull out or whatever accordingly. So there is no right now a similarity currently, but obviously you can use uh, likewise if you go to if I change it to right now in pull out obviously I'll get data. Okay. So likewise you can change the uh, uh, strategies within within uh, in join types. Within the joiner, and so as I was telling, right? So we can I we can, we can use it is in an LDO also, right? I used an union. You remember if uh, last time okay. I used a union, and accordingly, sorry, sorry. read mapping, and in all iconic. So this union I have used. You can use the same. You can use joiner and all, all the uh, things before you are using this as a main source table. Okay, so th that is another way of using LDO rather than doing it in respective mapping. You can reuse this LDO if if you are using the same table, right? So you can just reuse this LDO. Okay, so this was the joiner. Key generator will tell you when I go to uh, the match and merge. These are again a part of match and merge. Okay. Leveler. This I will tell you. Lookup. Let me tell you the lookup thing. Okay. How this lookup works. Okay. Lookup can be flat file. Uh, so okay. Let me tell you the first uh, um, theory. Theory first of all that when we use the lookup. Okay. So lookup is used. For example, one of the example is uh, suppose uh, your data. Uh, suppose you are getting. So one of the example I work on, right? I mean, one of the use cases I work on where I use lookup is like, for example, you are getting state and country information from the input, right? But you have to validate, right? You have to validate that with the lookup that whether that value is there or not. Okay, for example, let me open document. Uh, let me open an Excel. For example, what happens? Suppose in the input, I have getting a state, country information. Okay. Now, uh, one of the thing is like, let me take an example of uh, India only. Karnataka is there. The is there. West. Bengal is there. Suppose these three examples. Let me take country first. I am deleting this. So this is my input, okay? Input column where I am getting these kind of values. Now what happens? My requirement here in the output, I have to change it into a proper value, okay? So k is there, but this two bits change it. This. And this should be West Bengal. Okay, for example, this is wrong. This is a wrong spelling, but it should be in a proper way, right? Even you can change it. Uh, this to Karnataka as well. 
by a loop loop that also can be done but let, let me keep it simple for the time being so what happens how to change this from this right so there's a concept of lookup lookup is nothing but you can use as a lookup table or lookup file so what it does uh, in that lookup of uh, uh, table or file you can have values right you can have values for example state sorry state state abbreviation okay uh again state description okay suppose you are getting this file from uh, from uh, informatica who also give this file uh, which has the all the valid information okay so suppose this is uh, karnataka but this is state this is suppose karnataka okay now suppose this one is or another example i'll tell you let me not give this example this okay suppose this is two this is three okay suppose data is coming like this okay and it should be a a and it should be w b okay now what happened there are state code okay if you see in us there are state code state code means for each state there's a numeric values assigned for it okay so that's why what happens that k this is karnataka state 2 the b suppose description is this is west bengal okay and this is 3 okay so likewise you will get a file which can be uh, or in a table okay which can be used as a lookup table now what happens let me <clears throat> suppose let me see here the state this is fine everything is in here okay now for example this one how we can do so same thing what we do did in a standardizer right that we we did uh, uh transferred in, into a valid value another way of doing the similar thing is for example state also you are getting some state code here we, we are getting suppose the customer tire code right similar thing what we can do is we can create a reference one same thing okay which will have this information for example let me see so, okay so let me drag this and take it as a lookup okay so in the lookup i can see whenever i'm configuring okay i can create a port first tire for example uh these are the columns within that value uh, within this table 1 2 3 okay now you see there is something called return right now return is nothing but whenever okay let me go first in the lookup column now okay. now i have this customer tire okay so what i will do i will map this customer tire with this column okay and then in the lookup i will go here create a new so column so you remember column 2 had all the numerics right 2 3 all the stuff so column 2 yeah. with the customer tire i have another input as a customer tire okay so what it is telling like in customer tire standard is nothing but let me rename it what a standard i write it input okay so if you remember this is my input 
so if you remember right uh, in input also i have 2 3 1 2 3 all there and wherever so i am telling like if my customer input suppose there is value 1 is coming from the input if it matches with this 2 then i want to return column 1 value you got it so what i am telling customer tire input which is nothing but my this value so this value 2 right customer tire input is nothing this all input values are coming in so this 2 will try to find the match i have already configured here in the lookup that two will look in so suppose uh, it, there is uh, silver silver will try to find that whether there is any value in column 2 as silver there is nothing right i have we have only 1 2 3 so whenever it comes to two it will match in that co column i am telling if it matches then return column 1 so what it will return it will return your value of gold from here any question understood how to configure lookup yes sir run the data view just to see it's working or not so lookup is very much important in that way okay so if you uh, so lookup is very much important because wherever you see this kind let me see what is the storm time not even in your terminals return in column 1 this is my input this command this is my columns Return this. Column one is this. Lookup is column two. Customer tire input. Yeah. This is this. Yeah. So likewise, if you run this one, so it will see wherever it finds a value. Right? See, it is returning those values only. Okay. So suppose. in input if it's two then only it is returning the values otherwise there is no return of the value accordingly okay if it's three then only it is returning this value so whenever in in an expression what we will we generally do you create one expression and there you will map the column one here okay column one will only return wherever there is this numerics because these are only matching with column 2 only then only it is returning the value in column 1 otherwise it will always be null right and then you can just you can do a simple union of that values and can you you get all the values in the output okay so we are returning column 1 here so likewise so the the use case of uh, this lookup is many use cases one is i as i told i am currently using that what happens in, in us country so if someone ask you this question when can you use lookup right i'm just telling that examples for us country what happens they if you see there's uh, iso country and iso state all these files they provide to us why because sometimes it happens there there's a rename of the state happens or some uh, state two states in us once in a decade it happens it doesn't happen so frequently but what happens they rename the state or they are merged to states okay within the country so the state could also changes that's why they periodically send us every 3 month uh, a file for state code means the state code numerics will be there as well as the state description or abbreviated format everything will be there so that we use as a lookup what they send we do a lookup on our input and we return the value wherever it finds the match if it doesn't find the match then it will uh, obviously go as a null in that case obviously because in that case the value is invalid right why it will be there so that is one of the 
use case of lookup other there are many use cases like suppose um, one of the tip you are getting in the input customer id okay but customer name is not mentioned so there is already a lookup table where customer id and customer name is already there okay so you can just use the lookup the your lookup column will be nothing but your uh, customer id both customer id is there right in the input and your lookup table and you will return the customer name from it because in lookup you have the customer name right so if it finds the match then only customer name will return okay so there are many um, the, the name only suggests right what lookup are that makes sense Yeah, the, because those yeah because those are invalid in one way, right? You can filter it out, right? Or as I was telling, you can use it in an expression also. In an expression, also you can use uh, a logic, right? That if my for 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 this instance, for example, uh, for this instance, right? I have written as a Uh, two is coming as a silver now, right? So you can always use one way. What we did is that we used a simple router first from here, right? Only route the record where there are numerics as a like comment. So we route those record in the lookup. It got transformed into a proper value, and another router will be all the other values. Then we have just used a union to make all the values in a single table that we have used. so th there are different way which you can use there are so many ways you can implement but we use router and then an union within the lookup also oh, for deleting how oh, we can do that for deleting what duplicate records can we do with lookup no oh, there are so many other transformations which we can do means uh suppose sorter is there one of this okay. very easy is sorter so you can do but why to use uh, all those stuff here suppose sorter is there in sorter suppose what you want you uh, suppose what we do now we sort the records okay for example i take all the records now what happens there are two things we want to duplicate all, all the records which are there here right means all the records are for example same so we will just go here properties sort distinct row only okay only the distinct row so we we use it after the source some, most of the time because all the rows are duplicates suppose okay then we use otherwise if you tell no i want to see specific duplicate for a specific columns then we have already matched in place i'll show you that okay but one of the scenarios if all the columns suppose the values are duplicate why to use matcher just use a sorter only it will give the distinct rows because all the values are same right why we want to take the copy of everything right so that's why you can just keep it and you can choose what you want to sort it with just that's it nothing else okay. and that also comes with one thing like another very important question also comes like why Uh, just note it down because in case if you are not going to all the recordings, so one of the very important question is like, tell me one thing, one uh, one of you is sorter an active or a passive transformation? Uh, sorter actually uh, should should be passive transfer. Is a passive transfer transformation? No, sorter is an active transformation. <laughs> but it is an active transformation because uh, we have uh, some option to like delete the records in it no not delete the records we have the option for this distinct row right yeah so yeah so sorter was actually a passive transformation because everyone will think right we are just sorting the record why it is called as an active transformation yes only because of this reason distinct it will just take out the distinct because of this mechanism is a sorter is an active transformation This is a very important question. The people, if, if someone asks you what is active and passive, if you suppose answered it, then they will go with okay, 
do you know what is an active or passive? So they show off sometimes patterns. Okay. Okay. Shorter I'm not going is very simple, right? I mean, so I don't want to waste the time. Just it will short it, right? Nothing as such. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm not going to very easy, easy things. Right? You know, there are so simple things. So and the match I'll show you. Merge again. Merge I've already shown you, right? In the LDO. Okay. Parser I will show you. Rank. Uh, again, rank is very simple. Rank is uh, uh, it, it works by same. I'm not showing it's very simple. Uh, in SQL, what we do, right? By uh, by department partition over, right? If you have worked on, is very simple. Like uh, for example, one of the scenario is um, let me write it right. Uh, simple scenario is that I have a department um, electronics. There are sales happening for uh, suppose Rahul has made a sale of one one million dollar in electronics. Uh, Abhishek have made 0.5. Another one guy have made suppose guy C have made 0.25 billion dollar. So another department is there. Likewise, it is coming. So you can always partition over by the department and then rank it right and this is the same thing which happens so we don't do rank here okay what